On a chilly winter evening, Ralph discovered a cat waiting at his doorstep, wanting to be let in. He had no idea this meeting would lead to a wonderful surprise from the cat. While taking a break to make hot chocolate, Ralph never thought he'd find a guest at his door. The night was freezing, with strong winds and snow expected by morning. As he walked by the front door, he noticed a cat looking in through the glass, silently mowing. The moment it saw Ralph, it gently tapped the glass with its paw, as if to greet him and ask for entry. Approaching the door, the cat stood up, seemingly sure Ralph would open it. It felt like Ralph had no choice but to help, given the cat's determined attitude. He unlocked the door, and the cat quickly came in, bringing a cold breeze with it. Ralph felt sorry for her. She must have been out there for quite some time. Once inside, he shut the door. The cat was mostly dry, but had bits of ice in her fur. She shook off, scattering some droplets on the carpet. Ralph noticed her beautiful fur and tail up close, seeing she was a striking mix of white and tabby, well-nourished and not at all what one would expect to find outside on such a cold night. Ralph went to the kitchen to make his hot chocolate and heated some extra milk for the cat. This he poured into a small bowl and brought it back to the hallway. After only a moment's hesitation, she began to lap it up. When she was done, she followed him to the kitchen. She walked slowly and paused often to sniff each corner and inspect each gap. Ralph stroked her soft fur and she responded by purring loudly and rubbing herself against his leg. She was obviously trying to make friends. Don't worry about the cold, Ralph reassured her. You're welcome to stay the night or however long you need. The words had barely left his mouth when he realised he actually meant them. He was fully prepared to host that cat for days or even weeks. This would be the first time in his life he would spend time with a pet that didn't belong to a friend or relative. As a child, he had loved dogs and desperately wanted a puppy for his birthday. But because he grew up in a high-rise apartment block, that was impossible. So he had to contend with playing with his friend's dogs. After two years in the military, his first civilian job involved a lot of travelling. He visited many interesting places and enjoyed the regular change of scenery, but it prevented him from rushing to a shelter and finally getting the pet he had always wanted. That's why he eventually decided to change jobs, settle down and get a home of his own. The first bit took the better part of a year, and finding a place where he felt at home was no easier. That's why, in a way, he envied the cat. As the cat finished the milk, Ralph gave her a plate of leftover chicken, but she did not appear to be hungry and just picked at it. After that, he returned to his sports game, even if his attention was now elsewhere. Looking up from his hot chocolate, he noticed the cat peeking into the living room. She greeted him with a cheerful meow and gazed at the huge television screen in amusement. Ralph lowered the sound, hoping that she would join him. But the excitement of football obviously held no great appeal to her because she did not stay in the room longer than a few moments. Minutes later, he heard a plaintive meow in the hallway and abandoned the game entirely to check on his new feline house guest. The cat made a detailed inspection of all of the rooms. The bedrooms were of particular interest to her and she spent some time needing the comforter of Ralph's own bed. She also jumped on several of the chairs and up on a windowsill where she watched the snowflakes gently drifting from the sky. In the guest bedroom, she let out another plaintive meow in front of the wardrobe doors. Ralph unlocked them and the cat stepped inside without hesitation. She soon began to knead a folded blanket that lay on the bottom shelf. Her purring was so loud that it resounded off the wooden interior. Ralph watched her work and laughed. He had limited experience with cats, but it looked like this one was making herself at home. He felt weirdly proud that she felt safe in his house and decided that a few scratches on a blanket were not a steep price to pay for some company. The cat spent the entire evening in Ralph's guest room. She was peace and friendly towards her new host, purring whenever she saw him. She wanted no more food, but did help herself to the water dish Ralph left her. After checking on her one last time, Ralph went off to bed. The next morning, he got to work trying to determine whether she belonged to any of his neighbours. He took two photos and showed them around, 
but nobody in the neighbourhood knew the cat or had seen her before. Ralph checked bulletin boards and missing cat posts, but found no description that matched the cat who had now settled herself into his guest room. He left messages on neighbourhood groups and on social media, but there was no response. A few people suggested checking the cat into an animal shelter, but Ralph could not bring himself to send her away. It was obvious that she had trusted him right from the first moment. Resigned that the cat would be spending a second night under his roof, Ralph went shopping for cat supplies. He got a litter tray as well as some cat food in a large cat bed. The cat did not want to eat anything, but she loved the new bed. And once Ralph added her favourite blanket from the wardrobe, it was just perfect. Her lack of appetite worried him. She also felt cold to the touch, and Ralph wondered whether perhaps she had picked up a bug while she was outside. He brought an extra blanket and a heat pad to the cat bed. She gratefully needed her bed, but she remained restless. Ralph checked on her frequently, and each time she purred loudly. He guessed that she would have scratched him, or at the very least hissed at him if she was truly in discomfort, and decided that he wouldn't insist on her eating. Perhaps she was just adjusting. Towards evening, there was more snowfall. The cat was still restless, but Ralph made sure that the room was warm and cosy before going to bed. The next morning, he woke up to a huge surprise. As he entered the guest room, he was greeted by a soft choir of tiny feline voices. The cat was resting in her soft new bed, but she was not alone. Overnight, she had given birth to three adorable kittens. That's when he realized she wasn't well fed, but just swollen due to her pregnancy, and that meant she was probably astray. Yet, she looked so proud of her job, and Ralph also felt his heart swell with love for all of them. A few days later, Ralph put the mother cat and her kittens into a pet carrier and took them to a nearby vet. They were all healthy and got scheduled for their first shots right away. The thought of not keeping them had become impossible for him, and after a month with no one claiming them, Ralph officially became their owner. As the kittens got bigger and started playing, he bought lots of toys for them. The mother cat turned into his loyal protector. Ralph, being a good pet owner, also made sure she was spayed. Now, with four cats who loved him, his house felt like the warm home he'd always wanted. Have you ever taken in a cat or another animal because you felt sorry for it? Share your story in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more amazing tales.